Okay, so the uh, the video everyone's been waiting for essentially. So everything's hooked up. Uh, so we're going to turn this on. I'm going to put it at uh, put it full bore, and uh, we'll see what sort of power we're getting out of it. So let's get it fired up. water going through it as possible. So the nozzle's all the way out. You can feel it there, somewhere close. Right, that's about max flow. So let's go and see how much power it's making. Right then, so here we are in the uh, power shed. Now, uh, this isn't its final setup because I haven't got the correct charge controller and as you can see it says PV but it's not actually the solar panels it's the uh, it's the hydroelectric now the charge controller doesn't like the hydroelectric for some reason because this voltage should be way higher it should be up near 70 volts which would make this a lot more efficient it seems to just occasionally find the proper power point but you can see it's flickering around quite a lot. It goes from sort of 192 up to sort of uh, 254. I've seen it go close to 300. It's sort of letting the voltage go up a little bit, spinning it up, and it's for some reason it's flickering around quite a lot, and it shouldn't be doing that. If I turn it down to half power, it takes it up to 70 volts, and it and it and it works properly how it's supposed to. But so I need a new charge controller, but I need a new one anyway because this is my uh, cheap Chinese solar one that I've been using. So I have one on order, so that'll be uh, an upgrade soon, which I'm going to network and everything as well. But as you can see, it's currently making some good power. Now I'd like to work out the uh, the efficiency and everything of it, but because of the powers flickering around and stuff at the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a timer and work out how long it takes to make a kilowatt hour and that's going to give us a good average and then I'll go and take the flow readings and then we can work out uh, what our efficiency is even with this controller and it not being at the most efficient voltage and, and all those other things so we can get a, an efficiency calculation so we can see where we're at Okay, so we got some numbers. Sorry, there's a helicopter flying over at the moment, but we got some numbers. So one hour gave us 2.8 of a kilowatt hour, so 280 watt hours. Is that right? I'll, I'll, I'll do the calculations anyway. But there's something I shall show you just here: is that it, the charge controller has now sorted itself out. It must have done a um, a test or a, or it, what's it called when it goes through I can't remember anyway it goes through and figures out the um, maximum power point of the turbine so it sorted itself out now so it's at much higher voltage we're at 53.6 volts and a steady power so 273 you know pretty steady watch it for a second D65 272 so it sorted itself out quite a lot so we'll do our calculations of our uh, of our kilowatt um, over an average over time and we'll see if it comes out close to, to that number which it should do uh, and then we're going to do some flow calculations and then we shall do efficiency calculations so I'm going to go and do those and then I shall uh, show you what they come up with and you can feel free to do them yourselves as well if you if you think I did anything wrong. So let's, uh, let's do some calculations, go and measure the flow, and then we'll come back and work out some efficiency. Okay, so a quick little uh, look at some numbers. They're very simple numbers. So on the charge controller, we had a reading, a start reading of 0 
eight zero when we started the timer. We had an end reading of one point zero eight. So let's do the difference. I'm rubbish at maths. Maths is not my strong point. So zero point eight zero minus let's go one point zero eight equals. So that gives us two hundred and eighty watt hours. Okay, so we're running at 280 watts per hour. So 280 watts for one hour gave us 280 watt hours or 0.28 of a kilowatt hour. So our average throughout the uh, throughout the hour was 280 watts. Okay, so we're making 280 watts with our current flow and head and efficiency. So now we're going to go and work out the flow and see how much flow is getting through the turbine and see what our efficiency is. Okay, sorry about the uh, how dark it is, it's only got really dark. So to measure the flow, I've, uh, I've put a tarp, I don't know if you can see it very well, but I've put a tarp underneath the uh, turbine so it's catch catching all the water. I'll show you around here. Oh, nearly fell over. I need to clean up around here. I've got stuff everywhere. Right, so the tarp is underneath the turbine catching all the water, which then goes along there, which is all cable tied to the pipe with no leaks. And then that runs down here to where it comes out at the end. That's all the water that's coming out of the turbine. So I'm going to take that measurement and that should give us a pretty accurate flow. Right, so I'm just going to do two seconds on the stopwatch. Phone's in the waterproof case. Uh, two seconds on the stopwatch, see how much flow uh, we get. Should be fairly accurate if I do it sort of ten times. Let's see, so we'll start with the goal five, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is, hold it level. Five meters, just under. We'll try again. We're going 25. Five. One. Two. And that is again five liters. So flow rate 2.5 liters per second. I'm very fairly confident that that's pretty accurate. So point four, five, six, seven. Oh, that wasn't. I missed that one. 50, 50, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 5 litres again. Okay, we rate 2.5 litres per second. Okay, so let's do these calculations here. So, hydroelectric calculator we want. Where are we at? So, 18.2 metres of head is what we've got, 25, uh, uh, sorry, 26 psi standing flow rate of uh, 2.5 liters per second that gives us 460 watts at 100 percent efficiency so we copy that and we go to our percentage calculator put in our maximum there so so we're low and so we're, we're around 60 percent something like that a little bit over, 62 maybe, a little bit over, 63, there we go. So that's the current, at uh, that flow rate, uh, we're getting 63% efficiency, which is pretty good considering it's only just been put up. I've got some uh, controller issues, a new controller, so we can make some um, changes there. There's a fan on the side of the uh, alternator which really doesn't need to be there at all. That's sucking up 10, 15 watts at least, maybe even 20, because the thing doesn't get hot. It's attached to a metal case that's filled with water, like it doesn't need a fan on it. And it's rated for about 3,000 watts, the alternator, so, and I'm only putting a couple of hundred through it, so it does not need the fan, so the fan can go. You can actually feel it moving the air in the uh, in the powerhouse so the fan can go that will give us a high percentage I reckon with very very small changes very few changes at all really I reckon we can get that up to 70 percent 
and that that's really good that's what I was hoping for now if I was these numbers are telling me and the flow rates and stuff are telling me that I could definitely add another nozzle um, could easily get away with having another nozzle uh, so I'm thinking about doing that but at the moment I don't need any more power than what it's given me I've got the solar disconnected and I don't need anything more than what it's currently doing so um, yeah so in the next clip we'll go and see how loud it is we do a decibel reading with uh, in the in the powerhouse and outside the powerhouse so yeah that's it we've got 63 percent efficiency at 2.5 liters a second I'm pretty happy and I think we can make some improvements in that with the new charge controller and stuff. Okay, so we'll take some uh, decibel readings here inside the powerhouse. That is incredibly loud. That's actually hearing protection loud. So we shut the doors now and see what it's like outside. So we're just outside the powerhouse now, as you can see there it is, there's the uh, powerhouse itself. Let's see what we're currently getting now. So much quieter. That is a big difference in decibels, I think 3 decibels equals uh, twice as much volume. So. The difference between 90 and 72 is huge, so it contains a lot of the sound. Uh, so much so that in there you need hearing protection and out here you don't at all. Out here is like uh, speaking volume, maximum. So the powerhouse is doing a nice job containing the sound and you can't really hear it from very far away. So I'm just going to turn the uh, turbine off here so we can go up to the top and show you the, uh, the intake and how much water moves through the intake when I turn it on. Let's just get this uh, turned off. Okay, so up by the intake, as you can see when the system's pressurized like it is, it clears itself incredibly well. Now I promise you I haven't touched that. Um, that's just how it is, I'll show you chuck a bit of uh, stuff in there maybe as you can see it, it does clear itself quite well a few bits get stuck under there but it does seem to wash them away fairly quickly like I say I haven't cleaned it yet it's the first time I've come up here since running it so I'm gonna set the camera up here for you and uh, well actually we'll just say I'll show you that flow there that's it with uh, no water going through the screen and then I should go down and turn it on and then we'll have a look at it again. Right. Oh, I just ran up the hill. So I hope you saw a change there. There's a definite difference in the flow. So I hope that video was informative and um, it wasn't too boring. So we're just up here now. As you can see the, uh, the batteries are full. So it's the current's being limited. Um, we've still got 1.59 kilowatt hours so far today with it getting limited because I'm not you know, using the power like it's been turned up all day to do my test but I go and turn it down to half half power in a minute because it's just spinning doing nothing really at the moment so something else I just wanted to explain about my system is that it's designed so that when the batteries are full and the charge controller switches the power sorry stops drawing power from the turbine the uh, alternator on the turbine is rated to a high enough RPM so that it can just free spin without destroying itself so I don't need to have any 
dump loads and I don't need to use a dump load controller I can use an MPPT charge controller which tracks the maximum power point of the turbine and then when the batteries are full, full and there's no load it just free spins and doesn't self destruct because it's designed to free spin that speed so it's a very simple system sometimes people need dump load controller if I had much more head than I do at the moment I wouldn't be able to do it but just this amount of head with this amount of pressure it doesn't spin too quick to go out of control so it works quite well really and like you see it's, it's getting limited now so the voltage will go up and the voltage goes up to about 85 90 volts something like that free spinning uh, it's all very simple so if anyone had any questions about that I thought I'd just clear that up so that's the end of this video I think I've explained everything I really can next video we'll be changing the c charge controller and see if we can get a little bit better efficiency